<laughs> Be silent this very instant, you stupid imbeciles, or I'll turn you all into centerpiece. I must find out two things immediately. What the fifth prophecy is, and where the prince has gone. Ah, I have an idea. Perhaps Thanatos and Sterminius would help me. Yes, they'd be overjoyed. little dip. What an unexpected pleasure. The pleasure is mine, your majesty. To what do I owe the honor of this visit? <laughs> your majesty, in the name of the ancient friendship that unites our two countries, <laughs> I'm here to give you some unpleasant news. Unfortunately, some of the facts your scholars have discovered are now general knowledge. Uh, but how can that be possible? To my mm -hmm. knowledge, no one has entered or left this room. Mm. We'll go into it later, sire. Right now, we gotta take measures. What kind of measures? What are you talking about? Your majesty must publish an edict throughout the kingdom because there's witchcraft at work here. Are you sure about that, Prince Mirian? Witchcraft. <clears throat> I know we've never had a cat in the palace. Free your mind of all thought, and you'll feel the power running through every pore in your body. What are you laughing at, Raggle? I saw 
saw Mylan make a mistake in mixing his ingredients. A test tube exploded in his hand. Don't say anything. Shh. Huh? Uh -huh. What kind of nonsense is this? He's perfectly all right. Just take a look at him. It's not nice to laugh at the misfortune of others. In any case, you should warn him. Hey, don't worry. Nothing happened to him. He didn't get hurt or anything. He just looked so funny I thought I would die laughing. <laughs> uh, we'd better check this out. <laughs> There's one thing I don't understand, Rocco. You said you had your eyes uh, shut. Uh-huh. And you saw Myelin mixing ingredients in a test tube which then exploded? And he didn't get hurt? I'm sorry, I can't empty my head the way you told me, Chaka. When I close my eyes, I see lots of things. I don't see what's so side splittingly funny. I could have been hurt or even killed. The fine education you're giving the lad. You can quit the high well, tragedy. We all knew that you were going to be perfectly safe, Myelin. Oh, of course you did. <laughs> I'm so glad to know that you can read the future now. It must be a very handy gift to have. Very handy indeed. Now, where the devil did I put my notebook? I've simply got to find it. What is that? What is that? Hey, Myerly, look for it on the second shelf above your workbench. I believe you'll find it under a round yellow ceramic pot, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> there, it's just where I said it would be, but it won't tell you why you had that little explosion. Oh, I suppose you know that, too. You simply mixed up two test tubes containing liquid of the same color. One was high-octane gasoline, and when you passed it over your Bunsen burner, voila! <laughs> Thank you for your prompt solicitude, but there's no fire. A slight laboratory accident, that's all. Off you go. How could you possibly know about gasoline? It won't even be invented for several centuries yet. Let's go, Rackle. You think you're the only guy with a decent IQ around here? <laughs> oh, uh... So if there's any further information you need, don't hesitate to call on me. I'll be happy to oblige. See you later. Chaka, I don't understand. Somebody owes me an explanation. Uh, I thought you were the one who figured things out. Well, if there are any further answers you need, now you know who to call on, don't you? In that huge the glacier dinosaurs. <gasps> they command the troops that protect the Forgotten Lands. This is their headquarters. Greeting their future commander. Hey! <laughs> you never told me how wonderful your country is, Cordell. You don't know how happy it makes me to hear you say that, Rackle. 
And it's very impressive to see these flying warriors greeting you as their new commander. What did you say? <laughs> Can you see me as commander? No, oh, their greeting is not for me. Well, if it isn't for you, then who is it Boy for? Boy Rack, our new prince. <laughs> oh, Cordell, you have such a great sense of humor. Well, my young prince, I think the time has come for you and me to have a long talk. Why don't we walk over the bridge and relax for a while in the town? It's one of my favorite spots. Stay here all day? There's something I want to ask you. Sure. What? Why didn't you want Mylan to know that I saw him mix up the test tubes and cause the explosion? I was just using you to play a little joke on him. But I didn't do anything, Cordell. I mean, I couldn't even do what Chaka asked me to. Hey, this rickety bridge is making me nervous. Let's go to the tap. Are you gonna stand there forever? I've never ever seen anything like this place. Yes, I must say wow. it's one of my favorite spots. Welcome back, Cordal. It's been quite a long time, hasn't it? It certainly has. How have things been in my house? Everyone absence? throughout the length and huh. breadth of the Forgotten Lands has been talking about you. What have they been saying about me? That you know all about the child of the fifth prophecy. <laughs> I'll bring you a volcano ice cream, your old favorite. Did she say a volcano? Now don't you ice cream? move. I'll be back quick as a Thanks. wink. Now, Rackle, I want you to listen very carefully. What I have to say is going to sound rather strange. Each of us has a task he must carry out in this world. Some are farmers, some builders, some teachers. But there are also those My whose Cordell. duty is to look out for all the others. <sighs> mm, I'll catch you later. <laughs> uh, the forces of evil never cease attacking us here in the Forgotten Lands. In a place like this, I can't believe it. It's true, believe me. And you have been chosen to protect us from our enemies. <laughs> There's a sense of humor again. It wasn't a joke before, and it isn't now, Rackle. You are to be our new commander-in-chief. Are you feeling all right, Cordal? They say he has immense powers, but that he's not able to control them yet, Honorable Countess. But he's still just a child, is he oh, not? yes. Assuredly. Well, then, just how immense can his supposed powers be, after all? Forgive me, but the word is that he'll eventually develop powers far, far greater than yours, Countess. That cannot be true! <laughs> Who told you these cockamamie fairy tales? I'll have him put to death instantly! <laughs> Countess, I'm back from Thanatos' court with news. And? Spit it out! I'm sorry to say that what I heard there confirms what Horvath here was telling you. What? <laughs> you pathetic idiot! <laughs> What's the fifth prophecy? That's the news I want! <laughs> you! And you! Will soon be dead if you can't do better than this! Come on, Horvath, tell her what the magpies told you before she gets even angrier. What did the magpies tell you? Oh, gracious countess, the magpies say the prince is in the Forgotten Lands. But you know what pea brains magpies are. You never know whether to believe them or not. They change their story so often. That means... That means that only you are wise enough to understand. Perhaps you should go there and investigate, you idiot! <laughs> <sighs> On second thought, you may be right. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't use my magic powers in the Forgotten Lands, but I can transform myself and go ascertain if the prince is there or not. <gasps> now, let me see. Well, boy, 
guys, what do you think? Will this do? It's great. It's great. It's so cute. No, I don't like this. Too insignificant. I need something more impressive, more fearsome. <laughs> 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 now I'm all set to find that little brat. Quidal, I don't see how I could possibly ever become the Commander-in-Chief of the Forgotten Lands. You can do it, my boy. And what's more, you must do it. You're asking for the impossible. If you try to refute your destiny, Rackel, the world as we know it will cease to exist. You will discover your powers and use them to fight the forces of evil that want to destroy goodness and wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> There's something strange about those three. The one with two faces is really strange. What do you mean, two faces? Huh? Sure. The one in the middle. Can't you see how it keeps changing faces, Cordell? Huh. To be completely honest with you, no, I don't see it. What's the other face look like? A woman with long blonde hair. I have to tell you, Cordal, something about this is really bothering me if a only lot. only I could see her through your eyes. <laughs> Maya, what is she doing here? I have to raise the alarm.